This is a $16 million home gym and possibly the most luxurious house I've ever been in. We're gonna compare training in this iron paradise to this home gym I rented for $160 a night. The entrance isn't very encouraging, but hey, the wardrobe to Narnia wasn't all that great either. You think you would move the, the table? Oh, it's actually nicer than I expected. What the f It's like a metal sculptor went to town on like old Planet Fitness gear. Not a lot of plates though, not a lot of plates. So I feel like with all of my sets today, like at least 100 plus reps. I don't see, oh no, they do have, they have dumbbells. Power blocks up to 50 pounds, which is pretty good. And then we got, oh, you gotta be careful with your head here. Maybe a helmet would be necessary. Oh, this thing's pretty cool. It doesn't work. Oh, ow. I feel like I should have signed a liability waiver for this place. I'm kind of nervous. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I don't know about this. Oh. Oh, there we go. Let me push this. Oh wow, the depth is crazy. I love this. I would just love it so much more if I had 345s each side. Ooh. Usually I have to like work my way up with knee sleeves. Oh great. They probably have like the least motivational thing that you could possibly have on a gym wall. It's already yours which is what frat bros see as consent. Like, if it's already mine, why am I paying for it? If the gains are already mine, what's the point of putting in the work? I'm gonna do a little mirror check right now to see how the lighting is. I guess it's pretty good. Oh, I don't know about that. What's this? Hey. Oh, it's, you know what? It's like a chess machine, I think. Like a fly. Oh my God, I'm actually getting pumped right now. I feel like home gyms are all about these like fancy little gadgets that nobody has. And you just build such a, a unique physique. Let's reverse cowgirl this thing. That does not feel right. This does not feel right. Just like the light press, it's one of those things you just gotta get used to. But maybe that's why there's not a lot of weight because I feel like it's a machine where if you use a lot of weight, you won't be able to feel it. Superset. Oh. Oh. The average American spends $600 a year on gym memberships. So over the course of 40 years, that's $24,000. So if you had $24,000 to spend on a home gym, what would be the first few things that you'd buy? Comment down below. Oh, that feels really nice. You can get so deep. Oh yeah. I really like the power blocks because they're kind of like a hybrid of dumbbells and kettlebells. So like the tension at the top of the lateral kind of feels like you're holding the kettlebell up and it feels really good. Woo. I love that hack squat. This thing was just like kind of sucked. This thing was great. So I think overall this machine exceeded my expectations. Let's go outside. 
We're gonna be reviewing this gym and the other one today on equipment variety for a well-rounded workout, anabolic environment, and equipment quality. And anabolic environment right now, all-time high. Let's, I, I kind of wish the pool was open right now because that'd be a nice little safety net here, but I don't know. <clears throat> this seems like this was like made for a 15 year old skinny kid. <clears throat> I kind of feel like when you don't have a lot of equipment and you don't have a lot of variety, it kind of forces you to do the basic movements, the basic heavy compound movements. And that is the shit that gets you big. This totally looks like the scene in like a, in a rap music video. You got like the closed pool, grungy background. Guy lift it. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna quite the, ooh, I can't speak. In terms of cardio, it doesn't look like we have machines, but it looks like we have a hill with some stairs. Do you think what I'm thinking? Extremely dangerous going down. <laughs> like I almost, oh my God. Our first amenity is a float tank, which I don't know if it's open for service right now, but uh, it was advertised that it was. I'm not gonna go in it because I don't wanna get anything that's penicillin resistant or, or I don't wanna get pregnant. <laughs> so we're gonna go inside and look at the other stuff. We have a sauna, which is like nice and steamy right now. We turned it on. Look at that. Hopefully that's not somebody else's towel. Oh, we put eucalyptus oil in it because it gave us a bunch of nice little oil selections. Very, very nice and calming in here. Look. Oh. Time to rate this gym. So equipment variety for a well-rounded workout, I'm gonna give it a two and a half because although I like the stuff, there wasn't enough plates. So I couldn't really get a full good workout. I get the pull-ups, dips, which is great, but two and a half. Anabolic environment, five out of five. Like honestly, I felt like there should be like a bin full of syringes and just steroids for me because I just felt anabolic. Equipment quality, I'm gonna give it a three. Some stuff felt a little bit unnatural, but not bad. There's never an excuse, no matter what the equipment that you have, to skip the gym. You can make light weight feel extremely difficult. It's just how you use certain intensity techniques. Like if you only had 20 pound dumbbells, you could get one heck of a shoulder workout by doing lateral raises just a little bit differently. So you typically just go like this. Try doing full range of motion, lateral raises all the way up, control it down, way more difficult. Three to five, not bad. Overall, better than I expected for 160 bucks. For the next home, we'll have to get our net worth up or at least improve the appearance of it. So our first stop, Nordstrom. I could go the nice high-end suit route, or I could go like this style. But that could also mean there's like a 50% chance that I'm also broke. All right, we got this one. It looks like I got into my, my grandma's closet, but it's cozy. It's a little bit more snug than the other one, but I think I prefer the other one. I feel a little more like a rich guy with a sleeper build. How much money you got? A lot. How many problems you got? A lot. How many people done doubted? A lot. Left you out of we are out front of a $16 million mansion. Well, it's actually for sale for 15,995. I feel like the price starting with 15 instead of 16, the difference seems a lot more than just five grand, but maybe they round up when they buy it for charity. The Kardashians live on this street, which is pretty dope. And there's 17 bathrooms in here. So if you want to buy it, you know, it's perfect if you love to host and serve food poisoning, there's a bathroom for everybody. So clearly I look like a potential buyer. So we're going to go, check it out and see if I want to pick it up. As you can see, massive tennis court, basketball stuff there. So it turns out the owners actually built this gym underground after they bought it. So it's technically like an anabolic nuclear bunker. If anything ever happens, they rush down here. Beautiful little waterfall. And here is the entrance to the gym. I'm a bit nervous to go inside because I feel like it's gonna make me feel really bad about myself. Let's go. Oh my God. You know, th 
this is better than my home gym. And when I say home gym, I mean like the gym I go to when I'm back at home. Oh my God. What? Leg press. And I feel like with this outfit, I gotta I got be calm and collected, but like I'm, I'm like fangirling inside right now. Like you have no excuse not to be disgustingly jacked if you live here, assuming that you can afford protein after spending 16 million. You know, I, I gotta get into my gym clothes and we gotta test this thing out. It is time to lift. So I think the game plan is we're gonna literally try everything in here. Cause if I'm a potential buyer, I, gotta, I wanna see what, I, what, what I'm gonna be using. You know what I mean? There's literally more cable attachments than cable channels. There should really just be two. Like there's way, uh, this is very overwhelming. Quick little fun fact. Hoist machines are some of my favorite machines. They just feel so nice. So another bonus for this gym. It's really weird, because when you're doing a set, you kind of feel like you're in a commercial gym, but then there's nobody here. I think if I owned this place, I'd have to hire people, just to be like extras in the gym, to make me feel a little bit more comfortable, because it's a really weird vibe, and it's so big and empty, but maybe it's just something you get used to when you're super rich, I don't know. You really gotta wonder why these people are selling this place. Maybe they're switching over to CrossFit. I've never used a pec deck like this. It literally, like, it flies upward instead of just like the regular. So you get a nice like upper chest contraction. Look at that, see what I'm saying? You come and come back down, and then it comes up, and they squeeze. Oh my God, I'd have like a nice set of butt cheeks if I lived here. Oh. I, I think there's something just about owning a place like this, like you don't need pre-workout. You don't even need a morning coffee. Like you just like, you come in here, you're like, I own this. I made enough money to, to afford this. Like that's like the only like, that's a life high. Is that a preacher? That's a preacher curl. Yeah, that's a preacher curl. Oh my God. Oh. I think an obvious thing people are probably pointing out right now is that there's no power rack. There's a Smith machine, but maybe they didn't want to hire a servant as a spotter. This leg press looks quite fancy. And I want to try it out. All right. Okay. Oh, you can get deep. Like I have no mobility, but this thing's allowing me to feel good about myself here. I'm really picky with leg presses. I usually hate a lot of them. They murder my knees. But this one, I don't know if I'm just like super excited so I don't feel my like feel anything right now. This one feels really good. Let's make our way over to the free weight section here. I think this spot right here is kind of like their version of a posing room because you have the nice down lighting. We got the mirror surrounding, got the angled mirror to get the nice back shot to check out the physique. Uh, I don't look that bad, but you think that they would invest in some like special mirrors that make me look like I'm 7% body fat with five pound more muscle. Oh, this is doing my, my legs dirty right now. Where are you? Now, usually when you go to a gym, the dumbbells go up to like 100 pounds. If they go over that, that's pretty rare. So what are we working with here? Oh, they go over to 50s only. Ah, that's losing points. These go from 20 all the way down to 70, which is actually pretty good. I feel like you don't really need to go that much heavier than that. So that's awesome. The option, because I like to curl with easy bars because with straight bar, that hurts my wrist. And then here the bench press. Do you think it's rude of me to hit a PR in, in someone else's gym? <sighs> 3.15 for a single. It's not a PR, but I think it's the highest that this gym has probably ever seen. Yeah, it's just like a dog. I'm just peeing on a hydrant, claiming my territory. Look at this. Got elliptical, throw on the big screen TV. You know when you climb Mount Everest, I mean, you probably wouldn't because none of us probably have, but when you get to the top, you put like the flag on the top and you just feel like you've just like done it. When I'm on the elliptical right now and I like, I see the entire gym, I'm just like, yeah, I've done it. This is like all mine, it feels nice. Now, there's an obvious thing missing. I 
treadmill, which is kind of odd. Like this entire place, a treadmill is like such a staple, but maybe the house is just so big they're just tired of walking, and I don't blame them. Look at this, we got a tanning bed, which is great if you want to get skin cancer. And we got ourselves a beautiful massage room. Look at this, it's very relaxing in here. I wonder how they end their workout. Maybe a little happy ending. Look at this. It is crazy. Like the size of this place, like I hope that the camera does it justice. This place is absolutely massive. We got the beautiful spa beds. We got a jacuzzi. Look at the shape of this thing. This is like, look, it's built for one person. I'm just like, hey, come here. There's like the ramp with the little thing here for my legs. It just feels right. It just feels amazing. Over here, we got the most interesting looking shower I think I've ever seen. Like, why is it down like this? Is that even, a, is that a shower? What the fuck is this? This might be a time portal, I don't know. Wish me luck, guys. Oh my God, there's, oh, it's water. What is this thing? Okay. This is the shower. We don't know what that is, but you can fit the entire family in here if you wanted to. I'm not sure what this is, to be honest. Like, I think this is kind of like where we do prayer after you work out. I think that this might become a waterfall if I go. No, okay. The ceiling's beautiful, the nice little dome. So this is the spa area. There's a full on batting cage. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my God. Like, this is huge. Like, what the? You can play like red light, green light, squid game in here. Like, easily. Three. What was my time? Five seconds, almost. And you know that means that's, that's quite, the, that's like 200 yards. You know, you bring a sled in here, you do some hit with the family, nice little weekend activity. So I started to talk shit about the cardio because they only have the elliptical and the recumbent bike. They didn't have a treadmill, but I think that's because they have something pretty special here. And it's right down these stairs. They have their own pickleball and squash court. Oh my God. I love this, man. If I actually owned this house, I would, like my friends, we'd be in here 24 seven. I don't think I would ever leave for sure. Yeah, like the, up there, you can kind of watch from down low, have like your own little fans if you wanted. Like that's, this is like, Let's play, we gotta play. Ooh. This is my house. I'm one and oh in my new home. Oh. What a game. Oh, we got a nice, got our water fountain here. It just tastes like disposable income. And over here, of course, there always has to be a sauna, which is actually a very nice sauna. Wow, it's huge. Damn, and it's so clean. It smells so nice. But they don't have the selection of oils like they did in the other one. We also have this, which is one of 17 bathrooms. Looks like the towel service is right here. And also I had to poo. And, but I don't think that they're gonna notice. We also have dual showers. So his and her shower, so maybe the relationship's not going as planned right now, because I mean, I'd rather just be like, we're in a small one. We're like, we're getting up on each other. I'm putting soap. Time to rate this beautiful gym. So for equipment variety for a well-rounded workout, I think it's obvious when we give this thing a five stars. There's pretty much everything that you need. I'm just being picky. I want a lateral raise machine, but like they got the cables, you can do that. So, I mean, five freaking stars. Like you could not go wrong with this gym. In terms of anabolic environment, I mean, it, it's just a bit too fancy for me. I like it a little bit run down, a little bit of a grungy vibe. I want my waist to be a little bit rusty. So I'm gonna give it a three and a half stars. I, I, overall, it, it's, it's freaking phenomenal. And then last but not least, equipment quality. They got hoist machines. Things look like they've probably never been touched. I, I don't even know if they actually even work out. I'm probably gonna get kicked out soon, so the video's done.